What if a world where we had unrestricted water access was possible? Could life really be that simple, where you could shower as long as you want and not worry about water scarcity? What if being stranded in the middle of the ocean didn't mean inevitably dying of thirst? Sounds fabulous, but shifting to a world without salt water must have some cost. To begin with, it's crucial to understand why seas and oceans are salty. About 3.8 billion years ago, the Earth's surface had cooled to a point where water vapor had turned to liquid, so the only form of water was pure and free of salts. However, weather changes soon set in after the planet cooled. As rain fell, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere dissolved into the precipitation, making rain slightly acidic. This acidic rain eroded rocks, freeing up both dissolved and loose salts and minerals. Rainwater carrying these substances flowed into rivers and streams, eventually ending up in oceans and seas. Additionally, submarine volcanoes and hydrothermal vents also released salt and minerals into the planet's water bodies. This has been happening for 3.8 billion years, which results in the high level of salt in the oceans today. Considering our current water consumption rate, the global demand for freshwater doubles every 20 years. Predictions state that by 2025, one-third of the world will be deprived of fresh water. In the face of these figures, the idea of freshwater oceans becomes more of a desperate requirement, rather than a luxury. However, depriving an ocean of its salt would wreak environmental havoc and threaten the survival of humans along with countless other species. Marine life, which constitutes around 230,000 known species and a predicted 2 million unknown species, would be devastated by desalination. One of the biggest hits would be to plankton and phytoplankton, which constitute the foundation of marine life. Saltwater fish have adapted and evolved to endure in this saline environment, drinking the saltwater to stay hydrated and excreting excess salt. Other fish, like salmon, tolerate both fresh and saltwater, but these are special cases. Desalination would essentially lead to the complete wipeout of saltwater species. Marine plants would also be severely affected. Underwater algae, responsible for almost half of the photosynthesis happening on our planet, are critically important in generating food and oxygen by converting the atmosphere's carbon dioxide. With less algae, we would risk an increase in carbon dioxide and decreased oxygen in the atmosphere. Without sufficient photosynthesis and unstable climate conditions, our world would cease to host a diverse spectrum of plant life. The result would be a collapse of the food chain, endangering most species, including humans. Our global weather would experience drastic changes due to the escalating greenhouse effect, notably at the equator. Ocean currents would no longer diffuse warm water and air currents. Convection currents that shift warm waters from the equator northwards while cooling down the hotter southern areas would cease to function. In turn, this would disrupt the balance of the climate, possibly leading to frequent and more devastating hurricanes. Humans would either freeze at the poles, overheat at the equator, die in natural disasters, or gradually starve in a world devoid of plant or marine biology. Reflecting on these impacts, it's clear that our desire for a world abundant in freshwater could lead to catastrophic consequences. These circumstances could manifest the reality of a shift away from saline water, a world thrown entirely off balance. Perhaps our focus should be channeling our resources and intellect towards preserving and conserving the existing fresh and consumable water we have, rather than envisioning a utopian world without salt water. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Your feedback not only supports us, but also helps our channel reach more viewers and continue to grow.